Hello everyone, I am Veos, and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. In our last career mode video, we renewed the satellites that were in space. Oh, of course they would be in space, they're satellites. Dude. Gave them the ability to move further out into a higher orbit, and we uh, built a brand new SSTO, mid-size cargo SSTO, in hopes that it would be the workhorse in order to build a space station or even a ship in orbit. But that was then, and this is now. So while a new satellite system is nice, unfortunately the new SSTO could not do what I wanted it to do. You see, right now I'm trying to build a, uh, well, it's not quite interplanetary, it's more like intermoon? Is that even a thing? An intermoon ship? An intersystem ship? Ah, duh. Anyway, it's a ship that was designed that designed to go to Minmus and back. I wanted the ship to look very much like something like, uh, like I don't know, like a like a submarine or something, something cool. I wanted it to have a lots of fuel and you know have enough room for like a little lander and all this sort of good stuff. However, unfortunately, the technology that we have unlocked right now does not allow us to exceed a certain weight limit or part count. So while the SSTO plan was a good plan. Unfortunately, we can't build an SSTO big enough and strong enough to haul up the pieces into space. I tried building the first stage of the rocket, or not the rocket, but you know, the, the ship, and then I put it on the SSTO, the new one that we had just built. But unfortunately, the uh, cargo was too heavy for the SSTO. Well, the cargo also had a lot of drag to it, so that didn't help either, obviously. But I really, really wanted this SSTO to be like the main builder of the ship, so I just went ahead and made the cargo lighter, even though it still had that massive amount of drag in the back. This of course did not work, so I ended up just cutting the drag off completely and making the cargo even lighter and smaller. But unfortunately, it simply was not small enough. Which is a real drag, because I built this thing to succeed the Trident Star, but it doesn't seem to want to work. But that's okay, it's a brand new SSTO, it's limited technology, and so we will find a way to make this thing useful. But until then, I went back to the drawing board, and in order to get this ship built into orbit, each piece would be launched in the traditional way, using staged rockets. Now, mind you, at the time, I did not have the ability to use fuel lines, because I didn't have any, and on top of that, I would find out later that my research and development facility was not upgraded, and therefore, I couldn't even set different fuel tanks to burn first and or last. This means that my staging had to be very elementary. I would have enough thrust or boosters around 
on the main rocket to get it up high enough to where when they ran out, I could jettison them and start the core rocket. So the core rocket would be deactivated the entire way up until it was needed. Very, very basic, but effective, since asparagus staging wouldn't really work because of the fuel transfer problem, or lack of. Not to mention that the entire system had a weight and part count limit due to the low tech. So after the first launch, I would leave a small little engine on the actual part to be jettisoned later, but for now the engine would help with maneuvering and stuff of this nature. The second part of the ship was actually very disappointing. I wanted to put a lot more fuel for the main drive, but because of the part count and weight limit, I had to sacrifice the ship's main drive, well, some of the fuel from the ship's main drive, in order to make the rocket large and powerful enough necessary to launch this whole thing into orbit. This would leave me with a dilemma because I don't think it has enough delta V to do everything I want mainly because it's not finished yet it still needs a lander and that's going to add more weight which is going to lower the delta V so depending on how many funds I have I might add a third drive or maybe even just purely for fuel some sort of fuel module but for now it looks kind of nice it look, kind of looks like a space submarine in a sense Kerbin's first intersystem ship not interplanetary just one that can go from Kerbin system that, you know, can fly around Kerbin system. You know what I'm talking about. Looks nice. I think the name suits it. I'll be working on the lander as well as the third module. We'll try to get this bad boy operational here pretty soon. But anyway, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. And if you really liked what you saw, consider subscribing. We also have a membership program. If you're interested, you get cool little emojis and badges if you become a member. But anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much. Again, love you all. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.